9, 10, 11, 12, 13. How about 20 bucks for them? Lauren was really in the dolls. Yeah. And then Ethan really like like grooming and cooking and stuff. So uh -huh. yeah. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Sure. I'll get this from you. Okay. Um I saw your reds bobblehead. Do you have any other like bobbleheads or red stuff? Um I had one because I had a, actually a garage sale last week. Do the other ones already sell? Uh, yeah, they sold at the garage sale I had last week. Okay, thank you. Morning. Yeah, That's a neat little box. I uh, know yeah, we pay a lot for this in Washington. Huh. Um, years ago, I mean, you know, but we never used it. I mean, it's old because it's yeah. They used old stuff to to make it and frame it. And, uh, I'm there looking for a phone. There's a bird. Yeah, yeah. You take that bird and get that out of my life. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> Six fifty for this in the light. How much are these other lanterns? I saw this red one said three dollars. Mm -hmm. What are you asking on these two? Uh, probably 40 for the both of them. 40 for the pair? Yeah. And then what are these up here on top? Those are smudge pots. These you use on like construction where you see the orange barrels now. Smudge pots. Back in the day. Is it 50 for uh, the light in the can? 55. I give you 50. <laughs> sure? Yeah, gotta hang on that one. What are you asking for the light? 50. 50 bucks. How about 55? 55. Alright, it's sold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'll take the can for a dollar. Did he cut by this one? Did you buy this too? No. Oh, okay. How much is this one? Uh, you told me before. 25. How much? 25. 25. That's why she did it. Oh, you have three for the lantern, three for the sun, and one for this. It's seven bucks. Any of your Cincinnati Red signs in there for sale? Mm, no. Yeah. Although they ought to be. And then I'm playing a horn, so. Thank you. How you doing? Did you do 20 on one of your uh, um, grinders? The most I can do is 30. 30 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, because they're they're in mint condition. They're old. The, you know, a lot of times when you find them at auctions, people's drop the drawers and they chip right. the corners. And because a lot of times when they pick them up, they don't realize them drawers will come right out. Yeah. But, but yeah, I could do 30. I'll do that. There you Alrighty. go. Alrighty. Thank you, sir. And that's the one you want? Okay. Yeah, I'll take that okay, one. Okay, sounds good. Have a good day. Thank All you. Right. Yeah, careful of the drawer. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
morning. See that? That is cool. Isn't, but I do not have the cord for it, so you have to find a cord that. And that's odd, uh, different. That is different. Uh huh. What are you asking for it? You know, I just don't know. What, do you, what can you throw me a price? How about five bucks? You think really? Yeah, I'll do five bucks. I'll take it. I mean, you know, I have no cord, and it's like. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Do you have any vinyl, vinyl, yeah, I see some vinyl records. Are there any of those for sale? I would sell them. Yeah? Um, I will tell you that all the small 45s, oh, oh no. What do you want, 45s or albums? Albums. The albums? Yeah. Let me ask my husband about them because they're, you know what, I'll tell you what they are like. Beach Boys, BJs. You, those, Mike. I sure do appreciate you pulling them down for me. Wait, you know I could have put. Yeah, no, I'll bring it back. That's fine. No, no problem. Hi there. Forty-five. Oh, I got forty-five somewhere else. The forty-five, Mike. Those are my Elvis, I think. Oh. Got a poster of some kind there. Oh. I think it's just a problem. Oh, is it? There's Elvis. Elvis. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Pretty devoted Elvis fan. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. How about twenty bucks for them? That's all right. Does that work? Okay. okay thank you. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. Sure. Thank you. You too. I like your hat. You got any red stuff for sale? No. Nope. Keep all that stuff. What are you asking for your table? Twenty-five. Twenty-five bucks. It's a folding table. I'll buy it. Very good. You have any other ones for sale? Uh, just that. Just that one right there. It's okay. A sort of make-believe table that you put this cover on it. There's that. Do you have any vinyl records? No. No. Any uh, video games, Nintendo, anything like that? No. All right. Never hurts to ask. No, never does. I'm gonna give you your sign back if that's all right. Okay, yeah, you won't need that. Here, you can put it right there. Yeah, that's good. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Have morning. a great day. Morning. That sounds like a deal. You've got a bunch of them. There you go, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Morning. Morning. There's 
Zelda Thomas game. Do you want to try that? Or did you find something? Yeah, if I'm getting all these for eight bucks, would you throw the movie in? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. How you doing today? All right. How you doing? Good. Starting to get a little hot on us. <laughs> it's trying to get that way. Isn't yeah, it? man. That, that table there is a dollar. Dollar over here, okay. That's a high dollar calculator back in the yeah. day. Got a little corrosion in the batteries, but yeah. it might still work. For a dollar, I'll take a chance. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Back at the warehouse, and I only went to one neighborhood garage sale. And I spent like two hours in there, but I found a lot of really good stuff. One sale had a bunch of like antique vintage type stuff. Some of it was priced kind of high, but some of it was pretty cheap actually. Got this wood laundry sign for three bucks, this beer tray for a dollar, and this gold lantern for three. All that stuff was gonna go to the antique booth. I did not think I was going to find a NASCAR Viagra helmet radio, but you know, you never know what you're gonna find. Didn't have the charger, so I'll probably have to buy a charger for it, but it was five bucks. So I thought I'd get a, give it a shot in anything weird and funky like that I usually like to pick up. All day long I was asking for vinyl records and video games and just a bunch of different things. And two people said they had video games and they pulled them out for me. Um, I paid $17 for all these here. I got them from two different sales. These are all Skylanders. I don't think they're worth a lot. Uh, I got some GameCube games. Uh, two Wii U games that are both sealed. I don't think they're particularly good titles, but being new in the plastic, they should do okay. I Spy Game Pack. This is a pretty good one. Metroid Prime for GameCube. Just Dance for Wii. This one is Mario Party 8. Metroid for Wii. And then a couple of uh, like Wii Play, Wii Sports type games. So I think I'll do pretty good with all that. Got a big box of old books for $5. Didn't look too closely at the titles, but the price was right. I usually do okay with old books. Got these models that were sealed in the plastic for a couple dollars each. Got this Zumba Exhilarate uh, Fitness DVD set uh, in the plastic for five. That's actually selling for about 40 or 50. Bought two board games new in the plastic for 50 cents each. I got some audio books. Uh, both new in the plastic. One of them was a dollar. One of them I paid four dollars for, but then he threw something else in. Uh, something about Mary DVD. I'm just going to keep that for my collection. I found a TI-83 Plus. It was only a dollar. Unfortunately, there's a lot of battery corrosion going on, so I'm going to have to pop those out and give it a good cleaning and try to get it to work. Even if it doesn't work, I think I can get ten or fifteen dollars for it as is for parts. A couple more movies. I think I'm just going to keep for myself. I had a friend that's been looking for a coffee grinder, and I found this one. He wanted 40 bucks for it. I offered 20, and he countered with 30, and I went ahead and bought it, because this is a really nice one. I see coffee grinders a lot, and they're rarely in this good a condition, so I just went ahead and bought it for her. Got this vintage Igloo cooler for $3. These can do okay. Um, you know, maybe 25, 30 bucks, something like that. It had a, a good color to it, and a pretty interesting uh, print with the flamingos and the palm tree so I went ahead and bought that that was three dollars got this Pirates of the Caribbean Monopoly for three dollars and I got this big stack of records I was at a garage sale and as I was asking if she had vinyl records I saw a stack of vinyl records like up on her shelf so I was like oh you got something right there so she brought her husband out and he um, brought him out and let me look through them some of them are not in very good condition unfortunately um, there's a handful of Dave Clark 5, Kinks, Neil Diamond, ABBA. Not amazing titles, but there was 13 of them, and I paid 20 bucks for all of them. So not too bad, and I should get the $20, you know, pretty much just for this one right here. Uh, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I didn't look at condition on this one. I just threw it in the pile. Um, it's actually in okay shape. It's really not too bad. Some... Minor scuffs, so yeah, I think that should bring at least $20 in the antique booth. Here's the stones, some more Dave Clark 5, CCR, and another Kinks album. All in all, it was a terrific morning for only hitting one neighborhood sale. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.